And the tip is won by the Grenadiers, and it will be blocked by the four for the Simmons College Falcons. For the Falcons, it will go to four Johnson, Gray, C, and Reed. For the Grenadiers, it goes Ledgerwood, Dermon, Miller, Sweeney, and Warnett. Will be a baseline out for the Grenadiers. They get it to Sweeney, who is wide open for a three. Good. Carly Sweeney for three. He gets the scoring started. It's a little different angle over here, huh? Yeah, they, they do have us moved. Uh, I don't have to worry about standing up. Something exciting happened. I'm not going to block the shot. Hey, we're as far back to the wall as we yeah, can get. Yeah, I mean, I, I can touch the wall. I'm, I'm doing it right now, Tyler. And Simmons College goes on offense. It will be a missed shot by Reed. Rebounded by Wernett. They get it out to Miller. Back to Sweeney. Sweeney brings it up for the Grenadiers. Grenadiers lead 3-2-0. Less than a minute into the game. Miller drives in. She... Will not have a shot. They get it to Sweeney. She's going to take another three off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Gray. Pretty even matchup here tonight. Grenadiers currently sitting at 4-10. and ten. Uh, Simmons record not too much better. Currently sitting at 6-10. and ten. Gray did miss a three for the Simmons College Falcons. And Miller got the rebound. She gets it back to Sweeney. She thought about another three. She will not take it. She's looking for some help. And it's going to be stolen by Gray. Gray gets it up to DeFore. DeFore lays it in. And the Falcons are on the board with their first point. Sweeney kind of just fell asleep there and got it her pocket picked. Yeah, it looked like she was trying to draw up a play. Teammates weren't responding. And they just caught her off guard. And Simmons College takes advantage. That will be a 10-second call. Now the pressure's gotten to the Grenadiers. So after such a promising start for IUS, they've, they've kind of lost momentum. They've got to get it back. Yeah, I mean, uh, on that that play, I mean, Simmons played much more aggressive defensively, uh, kept uh, the Grenadiers boxed out, and they weren't able uh, to get over that line in time. And now Simmons College can't take the lead with any sort of basket. It will be tipped, stolen by Katie Durbin. Ledgerwood will get the ball for the Grenadiers. She gets it up to Warnett. She's going to make a nice move. She's going to get down low, and she scores. Lindsay Warnett for two. Grenadiers up 5-2-2 two, two early. Hey, this might be the first time we've said this all year. The Grenadiers 
might have a height advantage tonight. Yeah, I mean, other than uh, number 24 for Simmons Which College. Which is uh, Reed. Yeah, Reed. Uh, it's a 6'2 junior out of Louisville. I mean, a, a lot of sh girls on the shorter end for Simmons. And in and out for Simmons College, but it will be an offensive rebound. It will be a jump ball. will stay with the Falcons. Grenadiers got to control control the boards when they get a chance, especially if this is kind of one of the first games we've seen them have a height advantage. They've struggled. They've been killed offensive rebounding-wise all season. So. Yeah, I mean, and game after game, it seemed whatever team they've been playing have just ran somebody tall under the basket shooting layups. Grenadiers uh, may not have that problem tonight if they can keep an eye on Reed. A corner three from DeFour is missed, rebounded by Durbin to Ledgerwood, who has handled the ball handling duties for the Grenadiers the last couple games. Bad pass, thrown out of bounds, Warnett saved it in, and that will be a foul on Ledgerwood now as Simmons College was looking to get out on a break. And it will be a foul on Jesse Ledger, will be her, her first, and we will see Taylor Treat for the first time tonight. She will get Ledgerwood. And Ledgerwood will go to the bench. So now Treat will check in for the Grenadiers. It will be Gray with the ball for the Falcons. They get it to Reed. Reed trying to work on Durbin. She gets down low, misses, rebounded by Sweeney. Reed kind of had the position there, just could not convert. Sweeney's going to take it all the way. She's going to get fouled. That will be a foul on C. That will be her first foul of the game. Sweeney will go to the line for the Grenadiers. Yeah, Sweeney does have three early. Tyler, I thought we were going to have another edition of the announcer's curse there. I said that Grenadiers may not have a problem with just layups with a height advantage, and Simmons College almost pulled it off there. Yeah, I you know. We're going to have to uh, – Sweeney converts the first. I think – when the Grenadiers are their best, they get out, they can get out and run and get some easy layups, but this team can shoot. Like, yep. we've seen many times this season that IUS, they, when they get going from the three-point line, they can put up points very quickly, and maybe tonight will be a night we can see that going. We got to see that a little bit in the second half of last game on Saturday against, uh, remember who we played Saturday night? Ryo. Ryo Grand. Yeah, we yep. played Ryo Grand. That will be out of bounds off C that goes off her. And that will go to IUS. I mean, will, uh, Saturday, as we were talking about, we saw McKenna Wilson. Man, she got their, hot, didn't she? Yeah, their main three-point shooter. Uh, I believe was a points leader for the majority of that game. But, I mean, this game we're seeing Liam Miller get more minutes uh, on the court. Durbin almost converted a nice little jumper there. Rebounded by Reed. DeFore will handle the ball for Simmons College. A three... From to four is good. She's got five. She's got all five for Simmons College. So the Grenadiers are going to have to put a lock on her. And another steal as the pressure gets to Wernit. And, and that looked like that hit Gray in the leg. But that will stay with Simmons College. There's a lot of... A lot of kind of commotion going on between both coaches there. Yeah, and One's I mean, asking for a foul, and Robin Ferris is saying it went off her leg. And that's going to be taken by Sweeney. She just takes it away from Reed. And now it's we got a two-on-one. A nice pass, and oh, Treat, I thought, had it. Miller will take the jumper. Good, Lee Miller. She's so good at the mid-range game for yeah, the Grenadiers. It really is. And, I, and you said Treat should have taken that. I really like that pass there. Uh, they kind of had two defenders switching on both. As soon as Treat got that ball, they both focused on her. And that's going to be an and one. An and one for Gray. She gets on the board, and Simmons College can tie it right back up at eight. We can. Grenadiers, you know, they've looked pretty good early, but just some, I mean, they gave her a wide open lane to the layup. I mean, and she wasn't touched until she put the layup up. It's true. So. I mean, I think this so far has been one of the uh, faster paced games we've seen. 100%. From the Grenadiers, and, and they've been successful when they've been able to keep that tempo up. Yeah, absolutely. The Grenadiers, have, they've, got to, they've got to get out in transition. I think that that's going to be how they beat the press as well. They've got to beat it with speed. Because I think that they do have a speed advantage on Simmons College so far from what we've seen. Yeah. They get it into Miller. Miller's looking for some help. She gets it to Wernit. They get it to the middle to Treat. Treat's going to get it back to Miller. they got to get it across the line. Miller cannot, and she gets it to Treat. And they had a two-on-one there. If they wanted it, Sweeney in the corner for three. Missed. Rebounded by Johnson. Johnson gets the rebound for Simmons College. She gets it back to DeFore, who has been the main ball handler for 
the Falcons. They get it. And Taylor Treat gets a steal there, and she's going to throw a nice pass up to Miller, and that should be a – and she missed the layup. I thought that was going to be just an easy lay-in, and it was not, Zach. That's what I get for, for thinking. Yeah, I mean, the worst thing we could do is think. Uh, but that's been the Grenadiers' problem all year. Street almost stole that ball. I mean, the Grenadiers are playing aggressive defense when they – They are. This, Much this more is the most aggressive we've seen, we've seen yeah. them so far. So Treat giving the Grenadiers some good minutes off the bench early. They will get the ball in to Gray. Gray looks to set up a play. We are down to around five minutes on the game clock. Down to 10 on the shot clock. DeFore has the ball for the Falcons. She's picked up by Treat. Stip. And that will be tipped out of bounds by Miller. Five seconds on the shot clock. Grenadiers are five seconds away from another strong defensive stop here. So we... We like what we're seeing early here, Zach. Yeah, I mean, it, it's been a different game. And a deep three from Gray. She puts it right in. And that was a deep three by Gray. Durbin's got a breakaway. She wants it. Katie Durbin lays it in. And the, we said it, the Grenadiers, they can get out and run and they can beat this press. They're going to be good. Katie Durbin gets her first points of the night. Grenadiers cut the lead 2-1. Simmons College leads 11-2-10. 4-33 to go. They get it to... Gurton. Gurton gets her pass tipped by Warnett. Treat controls it. Nice dribbling from Treat to get around that pressure. They get it to Miller. She's going to have a lane all the way in, in and out again. Rebounded by Sweeney. Sweeney's going to put it up. Sweeney's going to miss. Rebounded by Gurton. Coach Robin Ferris cannot believe that they just missed that shot. Yeah, <laughs> and I mean, that, that's been the Grenadiers' problem all year is they haven't been able to finish on those shots. We've seen it twice here recently. And I mean, that... That's really I think I like to say it a little better. We get to see Coach Ferris yeah, we and all are of much, his greatness. We're there. much more uh, up close and personal. So there's the four again. What four. a pass. Two to four. I mean, that was a great pass. The four had a great back cut. And she had an easy layup. Simmons leads by three. Miller's going to have a corner pocket. Three off. Rebounded by Johnson. She will take it up for the Falcons. They look to push. Grenadiers have got to get a stop here. They get it to Gray. Gray gets in the lane. She's going to take a little jumper. Good. Simmons leads by five. Timeout. IUS. 3.28 to go. Simmons College leads 15 to 10. We're back now after the timeout. And uh, I think I just heard the best advi coaching advice you could give to a basketball team. Coach Robin Ferris looks right at us up here at the booth and says, we got to make our layups. I, I couldn't think agree more. I could not That's agree what they're more. Gonna have to do. I can't believe he just looked at us and said that. Yeah, I, And this is we, – we've moved over kind of on the other side of the gym, and we're much more up close and personal with these coaches, and we're going to get insight that we've never been able to get before. And one. Lindsey Warnett lays it in. She – Gets the and one, and hey, there's his made layup. Yeah, that's a great start. That's a great start. Well, I, I think the biggest thing that both teams are going to have to do is they're going to have to keep the tempo. Yeah. Grenadiers, they got to get out and run. They, they can outrun the Falcons. And Warren, its shot's going to be short, rebounded by Saunders. Saunders gets it to Gray, and Gray will bring it up for the Falcons. They get it back to Saunders. Down to three minutes to go. Gray will have a three. Good. They're going to have to guard her. Gray has got 11, Zach. 11 of the 18 for the Falcons. I mean, Simmons has had really good ball movement early. Uh, they've had a lot of good passes that's given them a lot of opportunities, and they've seized them. We Absolutely. Need to see the Grenadiers do the same thing. Miller will control the offense for the Grenadiers. She's going to have a wide open lane, and they're – and that – like a foul there. Miller did not get it. It will be controlled by Gray. She looks to push. They get it two to four in the corner. She thought about a three, does not take it. They get it back to Ferguson. To Saunders in the corner. Saunders is going to get right through Durbin. That's going to be a blocking foul. And that 
That will be a blocking foul on Katie Durbin. That will be Durbin's second foul of the night, so this could send Katie to the bench. Abby Young will check in for the first time for the Grenadiers. I will say we, we're a bit of a ways away from the fans that we're usually close to, but even over the side of the gym, some pretty passionate fans over here. Oh, yeah. I, I, I think that's a, that's a good statement. Simmons College looks to add to their lead. Gray takes another three. This one will be off. That was a little bit of a heat check there. Yeah, I mean, I think she got a little overzealous, uh, you know. Sweeney will bring it up for the Grenadiers, and she gets a great screen. She gets into the lane, fouled. She will be fouled by Girton. Sweeney will go to the line. She is leading the Grenadiers with four points, as well as Lindsey Warnett has four for the Grenadiers. Carly can make these two free throws. She will cut the lead 2-4. 2-10 to go. Simmons leads 18-12 here in the first quarter. First shot is good. Sweeney converts the first. She's got five. Abby Young has checked in for the Grenadiers. Who did she replace? I didn't even see who went out, Zach. It was Taylor Treat that subbed out for the Grenadiers, so Katie Durbin will stay in with two fouls. That was going to be my guess, Tyler, but I, I didn't want to be wrong. You're never wrong, Zach. Uh, you flatter me. <laughs> oh, and that's a tip from Warnett. Sweeney gets it. She gets into the lane. Good. Carly Sweeney for two. She's got eight for the Grenadiers, and Lindsey Warnett just tipped that one out of bounds. The Grenadiers' pressure is causing some issues for Simmons College here. Yeah, and I think that's been the biggest change we've seen is the Grenadiers have played much more aggressive and overall much better defense. And they get it 2-4. to four. DeFore will get it across the line. The Grenadiers got to stop her. Abby Young does pick her up, and she will turn her. DeFore looks to set up for the Falcons. They get it to Girton. Down to Saunders. A great pass to Saunders. And now the lead is up to four. Back at four again now. We, we kind of cut into it there, Zach. Yeah. And and I mean, it just the thing the Grenadiers haven't been able to adjust to is just the ball movement of Simmons College so far. They've just allowed themselves to get in really good op, uh, positions. And Sweeney's three is way long, rebounded by Girton. Grace Stapleton at the table for the Grenadiers. They get it to Saunders. Saunders thought about three, she should not take it. She gets it in, gets it to Ferguson, up to Girton. Girton back out to the four. She thought about a three. She will take it this time off. Grenadiers have got to get the rebound. And Saunders gets it, lays it in. Saunders lays it in. She has now got four points for Simmons College. That's a good and move from Saunders there. Grenadiers have got to get the rebound. We are under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Grenadiers trail 22-16. Miller brings it up for IUS. She gets it to Katie Durbin. Warnett had position there, and they're going to get it to her now. Lindsay will control it. Gets it to Abby Young, up to Miller. Down to eight on the shot clock. Miller makes a great move to get in the lane. In and out for Miller. Touched every piece but the bottom of the net there. Rebounded by Simmons. They look to push. Grenadiers have to have a stop here. Saunders will get the ball two to four for Simmons College. 19 to on the shot clock. 26 on the game clock. So the Grenadiers will get another offensive possession. Sweeney thought about a steal there. Could not get it. They get it to Girton. She gets it across court to Saunders. Saunders gets into the lane. She throws it up and in. For Saunders, and that if that's on Durbin, that's going to be her third foul. Saunders has six, and whew. Saunders is lightning in a bottle for the Falcons off the bench right now. Yeah, the lead's I mean, up to eight. She's looked really good. I mean, that's a really tough shot to make while getting fouled, but even without getting fouled, kind of that hook shot fading away. I mean, she's looked really good. She's been able to make, just get to the goal wherever she is, and I mean, she's really help extend this lead for the Falcons. And the free throw is good. Saunders will go to the bench and Robin Ferris C is irate. Will check it. Oh, he's, yeah, he's, he not, he's not pleased with this last minute of the basketball. Not. 15 seconds. Grenadiers can, they've got to cut into this nine point lead because it's kind of gotten pretty big. I mean, this has been a two point, three, four point game. McKenna Wilson takes the three. Oh, Ooh. in and out. Foul on Gray Stapleton. Will stay with the Falcons, 3.5 seconds to go. Man, McKenna Wilson in and out. I mean, she's really got a feel for that three-point shot, but we've seen that a lot from the Grenadiers. Just the ball is touching everything but the bottom of the net right now. Yes, it is. And that, is that going to be, that's going to send Simmons College to the line because they're in the bonus. Not a good foul by Grace Stapleton there. No, not at all, not at all. 
So Gray Stapleton picks up her first foul. And Gray will go to the line for the Falcons. She has 11. 3.5 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Gray's first shot is good. She has got 12, and two players have kind of killed the Grenadiers in this first quarter. Yeah, and, and really late in the first quarter, I mean. Yeah, this was a close game. This was, I mean, this game was in reach majority of the first quarter, and now it's stretch out to double, double digits. They get it in. Miller's got to go. She's down to two. One, she's going to have to throw it up. Oh, and she, she almost slipped, and that will end the first quarter. Simmons College leads 27 to 16. Grenadiers have got to cut into this lead before halftime. We will be right back for the second quarter. Why did I choose IU Southeast? The small size is just right for me. It's close to home and located on a beautiful campus. And you'll earn an IU degree that won't drain your finances. Shine bright at Indiana University Southeast. We are 10 minutes away from halftime here, and we are going to start the second quarter. It will be IUS ball, and they've got to cut into this 11-point lead that Simmons College stretched out the last just couple minutes of that first quarter. I mean, it was tight the entire first quarter. Yeah, uh, the Grenadiers really just let, him, let it get away from them. I mean, held the lead for the first four or five minutes, and then in that second half, that first quarter, everything just kind of fell apart. Simmons College extend their lead up to 11. Yes, it did, and that was a foul on Cochran for Simmons College. That is her first foul. She fouled Abby Young trying to steal the ball. Ledgerwood back in for the Grenadiers. IUS has got to get something going here, and that should be another foul on Simmons College, and it will be on Bergeson, which is her first foul. So uh, that's going to um, kind of put them in a weird spot here. Simmons College has got two fouls, and we're not even 20 seconds into the second quarter, so this could be good for the Grenadiers. They get in. What a screen set by Wilson. Stapleton, wide open three. It's good. Gray Stapleton, 4-3. Grenadiers needed that. Yeah, great start. And what a screen from McKenna Wilson. Oh, great yeah. out-of-bounds play for the Grenadiers. Gray Stapleton, wide open for a corner three. Her first points of the night leads down 2-8. They tried to throw it in to Ferguson. It goes off the backboard. Controlled by Stapleton. She gets it to Wernett. And a grid pass to Wilson. Wilson, turn around, misses. Gets her own rebound. Good. McKenna Wilson stays with it. And IUS has came out, and they've looked good. They've looked motivated here yeah, in the I second mean, quarter. This is 100% the start they needed. I mean, Robin Ferris gave him a lot of words of encouragement, really dug into him. Sometimes that's what a team needs. And between the bench mafia, between Stapleton and Wilson here in the second quarter, they are going to try to will the Grenadiers back into this game. Down 210 on the shot clock. They get it to Gray. Gray's got 13 for the Falcons. Wilson with great defense stays straight up. Rebounded by Stapleton. Grenadiers look to push. She will be cut off by C. Stapleton takes it in, and they're going to call an offensive foul. I'm confused on who they called. The, 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 sim, the one player just fell down. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure either, Tyler. I'll be honest. And we're – yeah, that was – I don't know. Whatever. To uh, – to, to be discussed later. So Simmons College will get the ball back. That will be Grace Stapleton's second foul. Grenadiers do not need to get her in foul trouble. She can light the scoreboard up from three for the oh, Grenadiers. Yeah. Get it into DeFore. DeFore gets it down to Gurton. Gurton with a good pass to Gray. Gray takes a three. Good. Gray hits the three. And uh, she's got 16, and she's looked very good for Simmons College. <laughs> Over half the points has went to Gray here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she's been the difference and most of the offense. 
Wilson thought about a three. She's going to get down to Wernit. Wernit takes the shot. They're looking for a foul. She will not get it. Simmons College gets the rebound. Get it in the corner to Johnson. Johnson misses. Rebounded by Stapleton. Ledgerwood now with the Grenadiers. She gets it to Stapleton in the corner. Stapleton takes another three. Good. Grace Stapleton, 4-3. And she has been great for IUS here in the second corner. She is two for two from the three-point line. Yeah, I mean, right in I, that corner pocket, she's good. The Grenadiers have done a great job cutting that lead down. Just back to six. Just like that. 11 at the start of the quarter. Get it back to Gray. Gray gets it in to Gurton, throws it right out of bounds to the Grenadier bench. Going to IUS, 7.27 to go. Grenadiers could cut this lead 2-4. Hey, and people hey, say, people say four, three. You told me to work on my math last game. There it is for you. Great job, Tyler. I mean, people say sitting on the bench is an easy job. The game of basketball, it's dangerous as well. <laughs> Grenadiers have the ball, and they can cut in this lead. McKenna Wilson has the ball at the top of the key. She tries to get it to Warnett. She gets it to Treat. Treat gets into the lane. That's going to be a travel. Taylor Treat did walk. And will be a substitution for Simmons College as now Reed checks back in for the Falcons. Girton and Saunders to the bench for the Falcons. Falcons do get that height advantage back in with Reed. Uh, let's see if they're able to take advantage of that there. The four thought about a three, does not take it. Grenadiers are back in their zone defense. Gray has it, guarded by Ledgerwood. Cross court pass to CC lays it in, her first points of the night. Leads back up to eight. Grenadiers have got to get some stops and continue to score. Stapleton in that corner. She has not taken. Like she almost got fouled there. They do not call it. They get it to Treat. Wernit in the corner now has the ball. She looks to make a move on Johnson. She gets it back out to Stapleton. To Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood, fake pass. Three, good. Jesse Ledgerwood, 4-3. She's on the board. And Ledgerwood needed that. I mean, that was not a lot of arch and just straight in. I mean, I'm not even sure if it even hit touched, anything. It touched the net. I don't know if the physics check out on there. Uh, but we'll take it. It looked Radiers. like it just phased right through. Grenadiers have been good from the three-point line. Great passing. And Lindsey Wernit with a great tip. Saved in an easy layup for Reed, and they will have to take a baseline out. 13 seconds on the shot clock left. 6.08 to go. Grenadiers are trailing, but they have cut into this 11-point lead. They do now trail 32-27. to The four takes it out for the Falcons. They get it to Reed. That's going to be a jump ball, and that is a jump ball. Will stay with the Falcons, but Grenadiers, hey, they're trying. Yeah, I mean, there, there's been a lot of effort, and the Grenadiers have played really hard so far in the second quarter. They want to go into halftime with a lead. And I mean, if they keep playing like this and keep having success, I think they will. Get it to Gray at the top of the key. She gets it to Johnson. Johnson back out to Gray. Gray has a three. Good. Man, she has been good for the Falcons. They she keep continues giving her too to much hit space. it. Man. Too much space. They move that ball around to beat that zone. The Grenadiers are going to have to find some way Drop that three-point shot. Stapleton to answer back in the corner. 4-3. Grace Stapleton is 3-4-3 from the corner. Lead is back down to five. She's got nine here in the second quarter. And she's looked good from that corner pocket. I mean, you can't let her get hot over there. I mean, she's three for three. Grenadiers are definitely going to be looking for her in that corner. The four just throws it up, and it goes in. Wow. I don't know how that went in, but she threw it up, and it went. It goes in. Ledgerwood will bring it up for the Grenadiers. IUS has got to find a way to get some stops. They can get it to five. They just can't seem to get it right into that three to two range where they're a basket away. They get it down to Wernit. Wernit looks to make a move. She gets blocked, and it's going to be out of bounds. Will stay with IUS. Was a block from C. She thought she saved it. Does not. Miller in for a treat. Haven't seen Carly Sweeney yet in the second quarter. Yeah, um, not sure why that is. I mean... Leah Miller just got back in not too long ago. Um, but, I mean, again, with a deficit, we saw it against Ryo. I mean, really. Stapleton from the corner with another three. Oh, that was a heat check. Does not convert. Rebounded by Reed. Gray brings it up for the Falcons. Yeah, but, yeah, I mean, it'll be interesting to see. The Grenadiers are in this game. They just got to continue to find some stops. A long three. Grenadiers do control the rebound. To four, missed the three. Rebounded by Wilson. She gets it to Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood. Looks to make a move. Gray almost had a steal, and now DeFore will have a steal. Gray controls it. It will be a three on two if Simmons uses it the right way. A great pass to DeFore. Good. Timeout, Simmons College. 
And just like that, the lead's back up to nine. 4.35 to go. Simmons leads 39-230 here in the second quarter. Why did I choose IU Southeast? It's close to me, just across the river in New Albany. You really get to know your professors one-on-one. -on -one. And I was able to save money with their Keys Match Scholarship. Shine bright at Indiana University Southeast. Welcome back in to IUS Women's Basketball. They are taking on Simmons College. We've got 4.35 to go here in the second quarter. IUS trails 39 to 30. Grinders do have the ball. They had a couple turnovers there, and DeFore converted the layup for the Falcons to push the lead back to nine. IUS goes back on offense. They have it to Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood look for Stapleton. It was not there. She gets a high ball screen from Warnett. Ledgerwood steps back. Three, good, Jesse Ledgerwood. 4-3. She's two for two here in the second quarter, and Jesse's had a couple nice shots. Grenadiers cut back into that lead. Carly Sweeney is at the table for the Grenadiers. Oh, a nice pass down low to C, and she was wide open, and they have dissected that zone here. Yeah, I mean, the Grenadiers are going to have to make some sort of adjustment. Uh, obviously, that zone defense worked early, uh, but Falcons seem to figure it out. Stapleton in the corner for three, in and out. Warnett has a chance. She gets it to Stapleton. Stapleton's got a layup if she wants it. Good. Grace Stapleton. Four. Two. And the Grenadiers stay with the offensive rebound, and they get rewarded. I mean, the Grenadiers kind of have to have an opposite of what happened uh, in the later minutes. And another three from Simmons College. They've had an answer. Johnson gets on the board. She hits a three. And now that is a timeout IUS. Hey, leads back at nine. 44 to 35, Simmons College leads. 3.24 to go here in the first half. Zach, I just want to tell you something. Yeah, Tyler. It's been such a joy having you back the last couple games with me. Uh, I missed you. I, I missed, I missed you. you too, Tyler. I missed you too. Now, And Miller gets a tip steal from Saunders. Reed controls it. Going to Simmons College and a nice pass. And it's going to be stolen by Sweeney. Granters, it will be a two-on-two. -two. Let's see what they do here. Miller gets it to Wilson. Wilson has the three. If she wants it, she takes it. And not even close. That should stay with the Grenadiers. It will. Carly Sweeney. Work that rebound all the way out of bounds. It goes off Saunders. IUS will have a chance off their steal here to try to get a bucket. I mean, this is, this is going to be a big three minutes for the Grenadiers. They've got to find a way to get that sleet. I think within five. They get it within five. You've got to be happy where you're at. That was a good second quarter. You get it to Wilson. Wilson looks to make a move on Reed. She does not have it there. She picks her dribble up. She gets it to Ledgerwood. Down to Warnett. Warnett with a nice little step back jumper. Good. Lindsay has looked good. She's yeah. been better the last couple weeks. She is, she's only a... Uh, Freshman, I believe she is a freshman. She's gotten better every game for the Grenadiers, and I mean she's getting a lot of minutes for the Grenadiers too. And I mean she just looks more comfortable. I think, yeah, too. and that comes with uh, the more experience you get. I mean I remember being a freshman, uh, running around like a chicken with his head cut off. And a nice tip from Warnett right there. She's going to come out with the steal. The Grenadiers have numbers. It will be a two on one. Miller's going to take it in. She passes it to Sweeney. Good. Carly Sweeney lays it in. And just like that, the Grenadiers have got out and ran, played some defense. They are cutting into this lead, 44 to 39. What a pass from Miller to Sweeney right there. She even faked us out. Yeah, I mean. I thought she was taking it. I, I did too. I, I was wondering why she was going to take it there when they had the numbers. Just a great pass to Sweeney. And the Grenadiers really are right where they want to be. couple stops, and they could head into halftime with the lead. And that will be a foul on Sweeney. Yep, that will be a foul on Sweeney. It was close. It, 
will be a foul on Sweeney. Star and Durbin in. Wilson and Ledgerwood out for the Grenadiers. Johnson will check out for the Falcons as Cochran checks back in. Cochran is a freshman from Dearborn, Michigan. Hmm. We, have Michigan a, Rez? we have we have I have a very dear friend from uh, this the great state uh, of Michigan, and that is laid in from Saunders, and she's looked pretty good for Simmons off the bench as well. Lindsay takes a jumper too hard off the backboard, rebounded by Gray. Minute 39 to go. Gray gets cut off by Miller. She is going to pull it out for Simmons College. Minute 32 go. They get it to Reed. At the, the, and Durbin just kind of jumped and lets Reed get right by her. I mean, she let Reed just get right by her. She bit the pump fake. And Robin, Robin Ferris is not going to watch that. McKenna Wilson back at the table for the Grenadiers. And IUS is now... Back down by nine. warnett has got the size advantage. She takes it in. That was a look like an and one. But this Lindsay converts. Lindsay's got eight. Minute to go here. Grenadiers have the lead, 2-7. I'd like to see him get that in that five to four range right yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, uh, stop here. Just something on the board. I mean, the Grenadiers will be going into halftime in pretty good position. And great defense from Katie Durbin there. Rebounded by Sweeney, and they look to push. Sweeney's going to take it up the floor. They have numbers. If she wants it, great pass to Lexi Starr. Blocked. Blocked by Cochran. We'll stay with the Grenadiers, but I like it. Carly yep. Sweeney got out on the break. They had numbers. They, that was the right idea. Durbin will check out for the Grenadiers. Carly Sweeney gets in the lane, and that will stay with IUS. The four does touch it last. 35 seconds to go. 18 on the shot clock for the Grenadiers. <laughs> Rash, you got to stop laughing, man. You're, make, you're killing me over here. Sorry, I, I just – I'm ecstatic. <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy to be here. You're just happy to be back with me. Oh, yeah, I mean eh. – Sweeney has a baseline out. She gets it to Miller. Miller's going to take that jumper and off. Lindsay, weren't it – and it's – Saved by Miller. Miller does not take it. She's going to throw it to nobody. Oh, the Grenadiers almost had a, another shot. Yeah, I mean, <sighs> they, they made a mistake, had a great recovery, and then man, just are, were unable to. I mean, that would have been huge, that, huge going into half. That was what the Grenadiers needed. Will not work. Simmons College will get the last shot if they want it. It looks like they're going to take it down to 15 seconds to go here in the second quarter. They lead 48-241. IUS needs a stop. Gray gets right by Miller. She's cut off by Wilson. And they've got seven seconds. The Grenadiers have a shot if they want to push. She gets it to Starr. Starr is going to put it up. She does not get it. Warn it. And not going to be a shot. I thought Starr was going to dish it off to Sweeney. Yeah, I think, it, I think if there's a, a clean pass there, I think the Grenadiers are able to put uh, some points up in the board. But could be in a much worse situation heading into half. They were down by 11 at the end of the first quarter. We will go to halftime. IUS is trailing Simmons College 48 to 41. We will be back with the last 20 minutes of this game. Indiana Members Credit Union. We're invested in more than just your finances. We're invested in your future, the future of your family the well-being of the community you live in, and in those who dream big. Until those dreams become a reality, any bank can give you a loan or open an account. At IMCU, we care about more than just dollars and cents. We care about doing things that make sense. And investing in you makes good sense to us.
Welcome back into the second half of IUS Women's Basketball versus Simmons College. The start of the third quarter, IUS will have the ball trailing 48 to 41. Zach, what do you think? Let's cut into it right now. You want a, you want a deep analysis? I think I just want to hear your opinion. Uh, well, I think the Grenadiers have this game uh, within their grasp. I mean, they, going down uh, by 11, going in the first quarter. And that three is going to be off for Miller. Rebounded by Durbin. Durbin's going to get it out to Wernett. They can reset. They got a fresh 20. They do not need to rush a shot here. They get it back out to Durbin. Durbin uses her speed to get around. Corner pocket three from Sweeney. Good. Carly Sweeney for three. Grenadiers cut the lead back to four, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered. I mean, my... my Prediction. Was that where you were going to tell me? I think it was. You were going to say a missed shot, offensive rebound, Grenadiers three. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I, I do know ball. Anybody that knows me would say that. Um, but I'm saying the Grenadiers are going to take this one. I'm saying. And uh, just like that, we give up an easy basket down low to Reed. Lead is back to six. Grenadiers are within striking distance. Give me a second. I'll give you my score, my final score prediction. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Durbin. Um, Traveled with the ball, and McKenna Wilson will go to the table for the Grenadiers. Katie Durbin will check out for the Grenadiers. I'm really giving this a lot of thought, Tyler. I want yeah, to make it. I know. I, I love it. I love you for that. 8.49 to go. Gray brings the ball up for Simmons College, she has 19. She gets into the lane, going to be cut off by Wilson, throws it out to DeFore. DeFore with a three, good. And the Grenadiers' work is erased. Yeah. Back up to a nine-point lead. Grenadiers got to get going, and they've got to find a way to get stops. They've been able to get back in the game, and a nice move from Miller to warn it. They play the high-low game, and it works. Yep, 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 yep. Warn it has had a great game for the Grenadiers. She has 10 points for IUS. Reed takes a jumper, nothing but net for Reed. And they they didn't give her the shot in the first half. They gave it to her there, and yeah. she uh, she connected. Is that bringing up some memories for you, Zach? <laughs> bringing up something, Tyler. I mean. <laughs> and that's going to be tipped out of bounds by Johnson. And uh, IUS, they, they've got to find a way to get stops. I mean, yeah. they, they get it they get it within where you think it's it's – Pretty reasonable. I mean, so early, the highlight of the Grenadiers game had been their defense, and that's just slipped away completely. Simmons has found a way to beat that zone. Sweeney had a three. She does not take it. She gets it to Wernick. Wernick gets into the lane to McKenna Wilson. McKenna Wilson was a nice little jumper. Good. McKenna Wilson scores. She needed that. She's got four. Nice shot there from McKenna. Now they've got to go back on defense. Ledgerwood will pick up Gray. Grenadiers are back in a man-to-man -man defense. They were in a zone here in the first half. Gray gets cut off by Ledgerwood. Reed's going to take another shot. Short. Rebounded by Warnett. I think that's, that's, that's the play right there. They, they yeah. can match up with this team in man. Miller has the ball for the Grenadiers. She gets a high ball screen from Wilson. She gets in the lane. She's going to take the jumper. And oh, what a pass to Warnett. Good. Lindsay. Warnett lays it in. She's got 12. And Miller and Warnett have found a pick-and-roll game that they like, and it's worked to perfection here in the second half. I mean, this is the barrier the Grenadiers haven't been able to jump over quite yet. They get within five. They haven't been able to cut it down. Let's see if they're able to do it here. And she throws it right into McKenna Wilson. It's going to be picked up by Ledgerwood. Grenadiers have numbers if they go. Sweeney's out in front of the pack. She's going to take it in good. Carly Sweeney, more two. Lead is down 2-3. And the Grenadiers, they have came out. This man defense is throwing a little trouble here at the Falcons. Yeah, I mean, the zone defense worked early, but Falcons found a way through that. They get it down to Reed down low. What a pass. Good. Reed converts. She's been pretty good for the Falcons. She's got eight. Miller only has two points for the Grenadiers. She has she's not had her shot tonight. She's had some open looks and just been in and out. Yeah. Let's see if we can get Miller going for the Grenadiers, and I think they're going to be in a good spot. Oh, and what a pass down low to Wernit, and Wernit going to get fouled by Reed. And it will be a foul, weren't it? We'll go to the line for IUS. We need both of these from Lindsay. She's had a great game. She's got 12 points on the night. Sweeney's got 15 for the Grenadiers. For the Falcons, their leading scorer is Gray. She has 19. DeFore has 14. Reed has 8. Lindsay's first shot is good. Lindsay's had a nice game for IUS. Head coach for the Falcons having a discussion with the ref. 
Didn't like the foul call. And Lindsay converts both. That's big. Leads yep. back down 2-3. And the Grenadiers have put back on that pressure defense. Ledgerwood picks up Gray in the corner. They, that's going to be out of bounds, and they create the turnover. IUS will get the ball back. And they could cut this lead to one or tie it. Yeah, and I mean, it reminds me of what we saw early. Grenadier defense has been really good these past uh, minute 45. Yeah, it's about a minute 45. It's Lindsay weren't it with a nice move, and she will get it tipped out of bounds. It will stay with the Grenadiers. That was tipped out by C for the Falcons. Man, you look good. I mean, you just you, look good back in the chair. You, you stood up, and I, I'm a bit confused. Ledgerwood thought about a three. She does not take it. She will pull it back. She gets it to Miller. Miller looks to set up a play. Grenadiers have plenty of time on the shot clock down to 20 seconds. High ball screen from Wilson. Lee Miller gets in the lane. She's going to take a nice little floater. Miss. Well, and that should, yeah, and that will go to the Falcons. They will put back on their pressure defense. Just Miller, like we said, she's just been just a touch off tonight yeah. for the Grenadiers. Pretty consistently just doesn't have the feel, and, I mean, that happens. And, you know, that's normally a shot we see her pour in for the Grenadiers. She does not get it. And ball's on the ground. Should be a timeout. Grenadiers have created some pressure. 5.45 to go. It will be a full timeout for the Falcons. They do lead 57 to 54. Grenadiers have cut into this lead. 5.45 to go here in the third. Why did I choose IU Southeast? The small size is just right for me. It's close to home and located on a beautiful campus. And you'll earn an IU degree that won't drain your finances. Shine bright at Indiana University Southeast. We are back. And a tip out of bounds from Sweeney will stay with the Falcons. Hey, Grenadiers, a defense. Hey, they turned it around. They, they really have. They've, they've made a good adjustment at halftime. They're struggling to even get it in right here. And just a little bit of a personnel mix up there. DeFore gets by the press, will be cut off by Sweeney. She looks to take it back in. Sweeney cuts her back off. Good defense from Sweeney. They get it down to Reed. Reed cross court pass to Johnson for three, misses. Rebounded by Warnick. Good defense from the Grenadiers. They, Forced a long skip and a missed long three. Miller has the ball for the Grenadiers. She has been a great assist machine for the Grenadiers tonight. Blacked in the scoring department. Sweeney thought about a three. She does not take it. She gets it in on to four. That will be tipped out of bounds. Stays with the Grenadiers. Warnett will take it out for the Grenadiers. A baseline out. They are currently trailing by three. They get it in to Miller. 15 seconds to go on the shot clock. Miller looks for some help. She's going to get Warnett posted up on the block, who has been a machine. They double-team her. She gets it out to Wilson. Wilson, skip pass to Sweeney. Miller, 4-3. Good. Lee Miller, 4-3. And the Grenadiers tie it up at 57. This is the closest they have been since the first quarter. 4-53 to go here in the third. Tied up at 57. And maybe this will be the sh shot that gets Miller going. What great ball movement. DeFore just throws it up. Great defense from McKenna Wilson. Rebounded by Warnett. Miller looks to push. She gets into the lane. And a nice pass from Wilson if she can control it. And that should stay with IUS. Reed tipped it out. Grenadiers have a chance to take the lead, and that's that's exactly where you want to be right now. Yeah, I mean, Liam Miller's got to get hot for the Grenadiers. Hopefully that shot starts to heat her up. Uh, but, I mean, the Grenadiers are in a really good position. Be a baseline out. Sweeney will take it out. She gets it into Miller. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Miller makes a nice little spin move. She gets in the lane. She's going to throw up a layup. Missed. Rebounded by Warnett. Warnett throws it up, and there's going to be nothing called there. Saunders comes away with the ball. Coach Robin Ferris not happy with that call. Yeah, and I mean. That, I mean, Lindsay got bumped. Yeah. Uh, she got bumped. Yeah. 
but I mean, Gray gets right by Ledgerwood, and that's going to be a foul. And I mean, Robin Ferris is not getting. We can't any quite say what here. he just said. No, I, that wouldn't go on there. It would not fly. And that will be a foul on Jesse Ledgerwood. That is just her second foul. Gray will go to the line. She's came up with a little bit of a limp here. Something to watch. She is the leading scorer for the Falcons. She has 19 on the night. She could get to 20 here with this shot tied at 57, 406 to go. Grenadiers have clawed their way back into the game. Gray's first shot is off. Is off. And the Grenadiers were trailing by 11. They have got it back to all square at 57 here in the third quarter. Gray, who has 19 for the Falcons, missed her first. Abby Young at the table to check in for IUS. Gray second is good. She's saying that she needs to be checked out for a second. She will check out for Cochran will check in for Gray. That could be a big loss for the Falcons. Warnett will check it, take it out for the Grenadiers. Abby Young in for IUS as Ledgerwood will go to the bench. Get it to McKenna Wilson at the top of the key. She has nothing. She gets it to Abby Young. Abby Young looking to get her first points tonight is driving in onto four. She gets fired. She's going to get blocked. And that will stay with IUS. That will stay with IUS. It will be a baseline out for the Grenadiers with 11 seconds left on the shot clock. So they will have to find their shot pretty quick. They get it to Miller. At the 10, she gets a high ball screen from Wilson. Get it back to Wilson. Wilson did not take the shot. Sweeney's got four on the clock. She's going to have to take it. Wilson's going to have to take the shot now, and she can't control it. Wilson just throws it up, and that's not going to go. I mean, and that something we honestly haven't seen much from the Grenadiers this game is, is them getting sped up. I mean, Simmons has played good defense at times, but that's the first time I've really seen the Grenadiers look just completely out of control. Absolutely. 3.27 to go here in the third quarter. Simmons College holds on to a slim margin, 58-57 lead. They do have the ball. It is controlled by Johnson. Johnson gets in the lane, and she will be fouled by McKenna Wilson. Katie Durbin will check back in for the Grenadiers. Katie Durbin in for McKenna Wilson. And it will be... Johnson at the line for Simmons College. She has got three. That was the first foul on McKenna Wilson. Johnson converts, leads up to 59 to 57. Johnson takes the second shot, good. She converts both from the line. The lead is back up to three. Grenadiers have kind of stalled out offensively since Lee Miller hit that three to tie it up at 57. They get it to Abby Young. They get it back to Miller. Miller gets it to Warnett. Back to Sweeney. Sweeney gets into the lane. She gets great into the lane. And that should be an and one. Carly Sweeney. And one. She can tie it right back up. 3.02 to go. Sweeney has been fantastic. That is her 17th point of the night. She could make it 18. She can make this free throw. And she's really stepped up for Liam Miller not really having that touch. Yeah, she's a little off tonight for Miller. She's got five. Sweeney's free throw is good. Carly Sweeney makes the free throw. Tied at 60. Grenadiers have their pressure back on. They're struggling to get it in. They do get it in to Cochran. Cochran gets it across. She's going to take it all the way in the lane. She just kind of throws it up. She gets her own rebound. This should be a jump ball. Katie Durbin gets, comes out with it. Falls on the ground. Should be a jump ball, and it will be a jump ball. It will stay with the Falcons. Stays with Simmons College. They will have a baseline out. Game is tied. At 60, 2.52 to go here in the third quarter. Get it in two to four, guarded by Young. They got plenty of time on the shot clock. Four is going to get a high ball screen from Girton. She is double teamed now with Miller and Young. Get it back into Girton, down low to Johnson. Johnson thought about a shot cut off by Durbin. She's just going to throw it up, and they're going to call it foul. That will be a foul. Will be on Lindsay. That is her second foul. Team's third here in the second half. Johnson will go back to the line. She already made her two free throws a couple of drives ago for Simmons College. And really, these last couple minutes, the only opportunity Simmons has really had to score is off fouls. Yep, and she converts the first. 
She's been good from the free throw line. She has 3-4-3 three, three on the night for the Falcons. 2.37 to go. They lead 61-260. She makes it 62-260. She's been money from the line. Johnson now has seven for the Falcons. Miller brings it up for the Grenadiers. Miller being guarded by DeFore. DeFore cannot stop her. They get it to Sweeney, and that should be a foul on Cochran. That was a foul on Cochran. That is her second personal foul. We still have yet to see Gray in this game. They get it to Miller. Miller is going to pull it back out. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Grenaders have plenty of time. She looks to set up a play. Guarded by DeFore. She gets into the lane. Miller takes her a little pull up. Missed. Just does not have that touch tonight, yeah, it seems, I mean, from Miller. That was a really good move. Usually that's a shot that she makes just a little bit off tonight. And great defense. DeFore throws it out of bounds. Goes back to the Grenadiers. 2.04 to go. Grenadiers defense have found stops this second half that they could not find here in the first. Yeah, and I mean... Grenadiers got to go. This pressure's back on, and they're going to get close to a 10 count if they don't get it across. Lindsay does get it across. She attacks it. Abby Young will pull it back out. Gets it to Miller. Miller sees Warnett down low, and Warnett just took the pass. Lindsay, I thought, had it. Throws it out of bounds. And now it will go back to the Falcons. They're just both teams kind of trading bad passes there. Yeah, and Stolen by Sweeney. They get it to pass. Young. Young gets in the lane. She's going to take it, and she's going to get fouled. Abby Young's going to the line. She can tie the game. I mean, really, we've just seen, I mean, back and forth turnovers or, or back and forth fouls. I mean, this has been an interesting last couple minutes to watch for how fast-paced the first half was. The second half has really slowed down for both teams. Yeah, it has. Yes, it has. And Abby Young goes to the line for the Grenadiers. She can get on the board tonight with her first points right here. Abby Young, good. Cuts the lead 2-1 if she can convert this one. We've got a tie game, Zach. And, I mean, really, with how the Grenadiers played those first couple halves, uh, I mean, they've kept it close. They've kept it competitive. Really, in this th this third quarter, really all you can ask for from the Grenadiers. DeFour gets a wide-open three, and there wasn't anybody in the area code of DeFour, and uh, yeah. she converts. Lead is back up 2-3. The Grenadiers get it tied, and they just can't keep it there, get over that hump. They've got to get it over here. As the time is ticking away, a minute 25 to go here in the third quarter. Grenadiers currently now trail 65 to 62. They don't need a three. Miller gets in the lane. She gets it to Young. Young's going to take a little jumper wide open. Does not get it. Stapleton gets the offensive rebound. Good. Grace Stapleton. She's been good off the bench. She's got 11 for the Grenadiers. She gets the offensive rebound and the cleanup. Cochran gets right by Abby Young. Cochran just takes it in and throws it up, and that's going to be rebounded by the Falcons. She gets it back to Cochran. Cochran gets it out to Gray, who's back in. Gets it to the four. Another three. Short. Rebounded by Abby Young. Abby Young will bring it up for the Grenadiers. She gets it to Miller. Miller's wide open. And good. Lee Miller gives the Grenadiers the lead. Grenadiers lead. 66 to 65. 38 seconds to go here in the third. They finally got over that hump. Yeah, and Tyler, you know what the best day to get over the hump is. Wednesday on hump day, baby. On hump day. You read my mind there, Tyler. Right there, hey. Hey, that's, that's why, why I friends. love working with you. That's why we're friends. And we're friends, yeah. We, oh, we, we just work together we, now? No, is that what you're saying? Is we just work together? Oh, I've, I've got myself in hot water. That's all right. I'll just, hey, Lawrence and Angela, they'll just stay my number one Razzners. <laughs> Razzners, I'm sorry, Razzners. No, it's okay. It's okay. Warren, it brings it up. Down to 10 on the... Game clock here in the third quarter. Grenadiers can't take the lead with any kind of shot. They get Warren it open on the pick and roll. If she can convert, she does not. And it's going to go to Gurton. Gray has it. She's going to throw up and not going to get a shot off. We are going to be here. Stay with us for an absolutely going to be a great fourth quarter. Ten minutes to go. Simmons College leads 67 to 66. Grenadiers have cut into that lead. And ten minutes to go. This is going to be a good one. Yeah. And I think I, I, I have my score prediction for the game. Oh, boy. Here we go. I think the Grenadiers are going to take it 81 to 77. All right. That's 10 That's points. That's going to be good defense there. That's Let's see prediction. it. We will be right back for the finish of this ball game. Fourth quarter coming at you. Simmons College leads 67 to 66.
wait for that. Welcome back into the fourth quarter. IUS will have the ball. Ten minutes to go. We'll see if your prediction's right here, Zach. I'm ready to see it. I, I mean, I just have a feeling. I have a gut feeling. I like when you have a feeling. They get it into Wernit. Tipped by DeForce. Travel by Cochran. She walked. Stays with the Grenadier. And even though, I mean, <laughs> Coach Barris is working the ref here. I mean, yeah, he... I mean, the call did end up going their way, but, I mean, he, he has a point. I mean, there, there was some hard contact, a lot of hard contact that hasn't been called for the Grenadiers. Ledgerwood gets in the lane. Nice pass to Durbin. Durbin, little jumper good. Katie Durbin scores. Grenadiers back up by one, 68 to 67. They get it into Gray. Gray will break the press with ease. She gets it down to Cochran. Cochran lays it in. Simmons College takes right back the lead. 69 to 68. This is going to be a good finish. Grenadiers have got to continue to match and get some stops here. They need a couple stops and a couple scores, and they can get a little breathing room and see what they can do with it. Ledgerwood gets into the lane. That should be a foul, and it will be a foul. Will they say Jesse was shooting? They will. Jesse will get two shots. She can give the Grenadiers the lead, and she's been good from the free throw line so far she for has. the Grenadiers this year. She has. So let's see if she can continue that streak from the line and put the Grenadiers back on top 9-16 to go left in the game Ledgerwood's first shot is good tied back up at 69 and Tyler I, I hate to mention it but now I just realized we uh, missed out on our, our halftime score updates we will give some stats at the end of the game Ledgerwood takes the lead and we hope it's after a Grenadier winner They get it into Cochran. They've got numbers. The Grenadiers got to get back on defense. They do. DeFore takes the three. Good. DeFore hits the three. Morgan DeFore. She's got 22. And now is the leading scorer for Simmons College. They go up by two. They get it to Ledgerwood. She looks to answer the three. Oh, she almost did. In and out. Rebounded by Cochran. She looks to push. She gets stopped by Abby Young. And Abby Young almost had a steal. They get it into Gert and back out to DeFour. DeFour, who has got 22 for the Falcons, gets into the lane. She's going to throw it up. No good. Controlled by Durbin. She gets it to Ledgerwood. Ray Stapleton is going to the corner. Ledgerwood brings it up. They will pull it back. They get it to Lindsay. Gets it down to Katie Durbin. Durbin gets in the lane. She looks to work, and that should be a foul. It will be a foul on C. That is her third foul. Miller and Sweeney both on the bench for the Grenadiers. Yeah, and I mean, we've seen that more and more. I find it interesting. Uh, maybe not Miller tonight. Uh, just doesn't have the feel. But, I mean, Sweeney's, Sweeney's good been game. good. Grace Stapleton and Jesse Ledgerwood are very capable of lighting up the scoreboard from the three-point line for the Grenadiers. See what they have on this out-of-bounds play. We've seen a couple good out-of-bounds plays for Grace oh, Stapleton yeah. so far today. Stapleton pops out to the corner. They might have it right here. She takes the three. Good. Grace Stapleton for three. Grenadiers back on top, 73 to 72. Hey, I think I called it, didn't I? You did. I, I mean, that was a great prediction. Grace Stapleton, she's got 16 off the bench. The four looks to answer, and she almost had every bounce that you could have seen in the gym right there. It almost went in. It's in and out, rebounded by Abby Young. Grenadiers could push this lead to their largest since the first quarter when they went up by four. Jesse Ledgerwood has the ball for the Grenadiers. She gets it to Katie Durbin. Durbin gets it to... Stapleton, she gets the screen from Wernit, gets it down low to Wernit. She gets it in the corner to Young. Young's going to take the three in and out. Abby Young chases down her own rebound. She will get it out to Ledgerwood. They've got a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Grenadiers have time. Ledgerwood pulls it out. Coach Ferris calls a set play. Ledgerwood gets in the lane. She's got nobody to stop her. Good. Jesse Ledgerwood lays it in. She's got 10. Lead is up to three for the Grenadiers. 7.22 to go. Gray has the ball for the Falcons. She's going to get it. She's going to, she is going to pull it out and clear that side of the floor. It will be her and Ledgerwood going one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to pull it out down to 10 on the shot clock. She'll get a double high ball screen. Cut off by Warnett. Reed gets in the lane. They get it down. Tipped by Durbin. Ledgerwood controls. Grenadiers continue to play good defense. Ledgerwood, the Grenadiers have numbers they want to. They get it down into Durbin. And they call a charge. She was in the restricted area of all things. I mean, I think it's brought Robin Ferris down to his knees. He's on his knees. He can't believe it. She was it. in the restricted area. And we, we've seen a couple calls go uh, 
I mean, they're. I mean, he's even cleaning where she was laying. She's in the restricted area. I don't understand what, how he can't even understand what he just did right there. What a awful, I mean, awful call. We've had a, a, a couple of calls uh, go Simmons' way off uh, what they, they call in the business flops. And I think that that's a major flop there. And uh, either way, it goes back to Simmons. And now that's going to be a foul on Ledgerwood. And now we're going to get the touch fouls. And guess what? And now Coach Ferris has been issued a warning. He's been issued a warning for somebody else's problems, I guess. Yeah, I mean. Uh, Somebody's got a chip on their shoulder. In the, in the great game of baseball that we're familiar with, uh, people would call this the ump show at this point. Uh, officials feel we like they got a little too much power. Converts the jumper. She does. Cuts the lead back down to one. And what a momentum change. It felt like the Grenadiers were getting ready to take over this game. And yeah. right now it's back in control. Grenadiers do hold a one-point lead. Ledgerwood with the ball for the Grenadiers. She gets a high ball screen from Lindsay. She gets it to Stapleton. Stapleton has 16 on the night, and that should be a foul. It will be a foul on to four. And Sweeney and Miller in. Young and Ledgerwood to the bench. Good minutes from Young and Ledgerwood for the Grenadiers. Sweeney will take the side out. 6-12 to go. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Get it into Miller. Miller had Stapleton in the middle. And now we're going to get, now we're just going to start getting touch fouls. Coach Robin Fair, so we still got six minutes to go. He's got to be careful. He did get his warning already. He did. So... But I think for the Grenadiers, bringing Sweeney and Miller in uh, in this position is a really good idea. They get, uh, you know, get your leaders in uh, while you're trying to complete the win. And what a pass from Stapleton to Wernett. She lays it in. Lindsay's got 16. Stapleton and Lindsay both with 16 for the Grenadiers. Gray with some nice dribbling. Throws it off the top of the glass. Does not work. Cleared by Wernett. She gets it to Miller. They will slow it down. Grenadiers lead by three. 5.40 to go. Miller. Gets in to the lane. Stapleton's going to take a heat check three. No. Rebounded by Warnett. She gets it to Miller. Miller thought about a three. Does not take it. She gets in the lane. Pulls it back out to Sweeney. 15 on the shot clock. Grenadiers have plenty of time. That would have been a really good shot from Stapleton. She can convert it. Sweeney in the lane. Foul. And they call a foul on Reed. Sweeney goes to the line. The Simmons head coach getting pretty animated here. I mean, this one referee in particular has heard it from both coaches. He's hearing it from the fans. I mean, a rough night at the court. Sweeney gets two shots. Carly Sweeney's got 18 for the Grenadiers. Sweeney's first shot is good. Up to four. She could put it at five. Nice night from Carly Sweeney. Thirty-second timeout. Simmons College, five twenty-two go. IUS's lead is up to four, seventy-eight to seventy-four. Five twenty to go. Sweeney is at the line for the Grenadiers for her second shot. She will can no. Oh my goodness, that hung up on the rim. And Sweeney makes one of two. Lead is up two four five thirteen to go. 
And Simmons now looks to cut into it. They get it to Johnson. Johnson gets in the lane. That's going to be a foul on Lindsey Warnett. Now everything is a foul, Zach. Everything is a foul. I mean, we're, we're at that point of the night. Uh, it's late. I mean, I, I've had a long day myself. Uh, Refs get tired. They, they start making crazy calls. It will be a baseline out for the Falcons. They get it in. And that should be a charge. It will be a charge. The foul goes on Saunders. That will be a foul on Simmons. Saunders goes to the bench. 4.59 to go. Grenadiers could get this lead up to what, Zach? Let's test your math now. What? Oh, my gosh. I got him. I, I got him. I was not paying attention. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, the lead will go to attention. six. If the Grenadiers can convert, maybe seven. They get it to Miller. Miller gets in the lane. She's going to take a free throw line jumper. Good. If Miller can get going now, it's going to be tough for the Falcons. Lead to six. I had that. You were all over that, buddy. I was right there. And Miller converts. 4.36 to go. Gray with a nice move. She gets it in blows. Katie Durbin with the tip steal. They can throw it up to Sweeney. They do. Sweeney's got an open layup. That should be a foul. They call a jump ball. Holy crap. Sweeney a little shaken up, it looks like, after that. And the Grenadiers go back on defense. All I right. Mean, it's a... Uh... Man, that was shaky, interesting. Uh, officiating? Would you would you call it shaky? Shaky. Shaky. Shaky, Zach. Sh shaky. Shaky. And now Gray has the ball for the Falcons. She will pull it out and set up a play. Down to 4-10 to go. 4-10 to go. Grenadiers have played a great game. And, Zach, your prediction is in play here. It's going to be, be interesting how that goes, though. Good to Sweeney. They get it to Miller, and the Grenadiers have no problem with slowing it down. Miller will pull Not it back all. out, and they're going to use the shot clock. And I think that's the right move. This yeah. game has been tight all night. Miller still dribbling the ball. She's going to get a high ball screen from Durbin. She picks up her dribble. She's going to need help. And, and that will be a timeout. That will be a timeout, IUS. 30-second timeout, 3.42 go, six on the shot clock. <laughs> a lot to dissect there. Yeah, and there's just been a lot happening so far. Three forty to go. Six seconds on the shot clock. Grenadiers got a timeout after they control the loose ball. Young will take it out. They get it into Miller. Down to five. Miller's going to have to get a shot off. She gets it into the lane. She's going to pull it up. Lindsay's going to have to shoot it. Lindsay takes the shot. No. And just and, and just out of a timeout, you hope for a little bit more than that. They do not get it. DeFore takes a deep three. Good. Oh, my. Morgan DeFore. She has got 25 and that was a deep three. Yeah. She's taking quite a few deep Woo. threes here tonight. It was a deep three. Leads back to three. Three ten to go. This game is still very, very tight. Hey, Grandiers can score one more point. Stapleton looks to answer. Good. Grace Stapleton. Four. Three. Grace Stapleton with the best game of her career so far. She has got 19 off the bench for the freshman for the Grenadiers. The four. It's a high ball screen from Reed. She's going to take another 3-2 answer. Cannot. Rebounded by Young. Young pulls it back, gets it to Miller. 2.38 to go, and what a three-point shot from Gray Stapleton. They get it to Miller. 
Miller still with the ball, and she has it tipped out by DeForest Days with the Grenadiers. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Man, what a shot from Grace Stapleton. Yeah, I mean, she's been really good from the three-point line tonight. In that corner pocket, man. She's, oh, yeah. She's good from back down there. Young's got to get it in. She gets it in to Wernick. Miller gets fouled by DeFore, and that will be two shots for Miller. 2.22 to go. This could be two big free throws for the Grenadiers. Yeah, truly could. Gives them an opportunity to really just slow the game down, being up by eight with only about two and a half minutes remaining. Absolutely. Miller takes her shot and is off the front of the rim. She just still been just a touch off. She could get to double digits, 10 points here. Well, you know the rule of thumb with Lane Lauderball. Let's see if uh, Leah Miller's got the same thing. Let's we'll see if you can do it here. Man, you're good at that. She makes it. She's up to 10 on the night. She's into double digits. Lead is up to 7. Your score projection, just a little off. Just a little uh, off. No, it's exactly what I said. This is where you want it to be, right? This, no, this is what I... think I, wherever we finish is what, what you said. Yeah, I mean, I... I don't even remember saying a score. If I'm yeah, I don't know if you did either. Johnson gets it into the lane. She's going to throw it up. Fouled by Miller. 2.05 to go. And C, sorry, that was a shot by C. She will go to the line for Simmons College. She has got four on the night. C goes to the line for Simmons College. She has four. The four has 25. Gray with 20 for the Falcons. First shot is good. C has got five on the night. 2.05 to go. 84 to 78. Grenadiers lead. Another nice offensive game for the Grenadiers. Oh, yeah. Been a good game. And the second shot is good. She makes them both. Converts both shots of the two-shot foul. They get it into Wernick. Back to Stapleton. Stapleton gets it to Wernick. Grenadiers are trying to beat this press by pass. By passing, they get it down. Oh, and Reed with what a steal from Reed. C is going to have to control this dribble. She gets it back. Controlled. Down to a minute 50 to go. Back to C. C gets it in the corner to Johnson. She pump fakes. She gets by Wernick. Durbin, that should be a charge, and now that's a block. <laughs> what a... What's a block? What's a charge, Zach? Uh, I mean, I mean, Robin Ferris is. I mean, I mean, he's upset, and honestly, I am too. I mean, we've seen that called a charge all night. Wow! And Ledgerwood at the table now for the Grenadiers. That will be Durbin's fourth foul. Man, I just, I, you know, there's a lot of them that are just pretty close. That are close. But that one just, I mean, that doesn't even seem debatable. Yeah, I mean. Ledgerwood in, Stapleton out. Game is down to two, a minute 41 to go, and it's just like that. It's like nobody, nobody gets too far away. It's like the Grenadiers had the lead up to seven. That didn't seem like enough. Simmons yeah, College I mean, was leading by 11. It doesn't seem like enough. It's been extremely competitive all night. And what good way to break the press there. And they pull it right back out. And they're going to use that shot clock. 15 on the shot clock. Minute 25 on the game. Miller looks to go to work. She gets into the lane. Gets it back out to Sweeney. Sweeney has nowhere there. She's going to keep working. What a move by Sweeney. She's going to get in. She's going to throw it up. No good. Sweeney just kept working. Yeah, They I almost mean, ran it all the way down there. I mean, the Grenadiers are, are looking for just, just any way to keep their lead alive. Carly Sweeney will have two shots. Minute 14 to go. Grenadiers lead 84 to 82. Sweeney's first shot off the back of the rim. This has became now a big shot for Carly Sweeney. A huge shot for Sweeney. Got to push this lead to three. Minute 14 to go. Grenadiers lead by two. Sweeney's second shot short. Warnick is going to get the rebound. Lindsey Warnick gets the rebound, pulls it out. They get a fresh 20. It will run under a minute to go. They get it to Ledgerwood. Ledgerwood gets it back to Durbin. Durbin's looking for some help. She gets it to Miller. 
Under a minute to go. Miller gets in the lane and tipped. Stolen by DeFore. Under a minute to go. DeFore. She looks to give the Falcons the lead. She cannot. Rebounded by Miller. Miller just needs to slow it down here. She will slow it down. DeFore almost had a steal. She gets it to Ledgerwood to warn it. 38 seconds to go. They get it to Durbin. Oh, they had to give and go to warn it there. If she wanted it, it does not work. Ledgerwood pulls it out. Down 210 now on the shot clock. 29 on the game clock. Ledgerwood gets the lane. She pulls it back out. Eight. Ledgerwood takes the three. No. That will be tipped. It will stay with the Grenadiers. That is unbelievable. <laughs> And, and the, the head coach for Simmons is... Earl Ruffin is losing his mind. He's unbelievably frustrated. The fans are frustrated. The officiating tonight has been of question to everyone. But I have to say they did call a fair game. It will be Grenadier's ball with four seconds on the shot clock. 21.9 seconds to go. They've got to get a shot up quick. They only lead by two. See what the inbound play they got drawn up was. Miller's going to slip the screen. She's going to have to put a shot up. She's got no time to get it to Ledgerwood for three. No, that hits nothing. Shot clock violation. Timeout Simmons. Timeout Simmons. 16.3 seconds to go. They can't hold for the last shot. Grenadier's lead by two. It will be a full timeout. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with the final 16 seconds. Grinders lead 84 to 82. Picture you like that. 16.3 seconds to go, Zach. You got to do it with me. You got to stand up. Please. Okay, I'll stand up. I usually I don't get to stand up, but I guess yeah, that's normally you're in front the camera. Of the camera. I, I yeah, but I, I don't know if that's a bad sight for our fans if you're in front of the camera. Well, the back of my head isn't the prettiest part of me. I'll, I'll be honest. No, it's the, it's the front. <laughs> you stop. It's genetics. I Another mean, timeout by Simmons College. Hey, we'll take a seat and we'll be right back. 16.3 seconds to go.
And the Grenadier fans say they want defense and no separation. So we'll see what we get out of this. We'll see. I mean, I, I think we're going to see quite the finish either way here, Tyler. I mean, fans are even clapping behind yeah. us. Simmons will inbound the ball. They get it to Gray. Gray's had a great game. She gets in the lane. She gets right by Sweeney. She's going to pass it. Ball's on the ground. Lee Miller has it. Ball's still loose. Nine seconds to go. Simmons gets it. That will be a foul on Ledgerwood. 6.5 seconds to go. And she fouls. Ledgerwood fouls. And she fouled her 20, 30 feet away from the goal. With, I, I, I don't know how they would have got a shot up with nine seconds. No, I mean, that's... I mean that's uh, a really a, a, just a mess of things, Tyler. That's the only the only thing I can say. So Grenadiers will get the ball back. It will be a two shot foul. DeFore goes to the line for Simmons. She can tie this game up. She will tie it up if she makes both. And now we don't even know who's shooting. It was not DeFore who was shooting. DeFore was not shooting. Fifteen is the shooter. I mean the, fa the 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 fans are 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 pulling out some controversial calls here, Tyler. Wow, that's interesting. So now but the I, shooter I will be will be uh, C. She goes to the line for shot. Good. She converts. C converts. 83-84. Grenadiers lead by the slimmest of margins. And I mean nine seconds to go. This is will we hit a buzzer beater? This is the the biggest shot of the night for really both teams. Been a great game just on a midweek non-conference game this deep in the conference season. Ooh, and she gets the bounce. Timeout, IUS. Nine seconds to go. It is tied at 84. IUS will have the last shot. I can imagine we'll see some pressure from the Falcons to try to slow the Grenadiers down. It's going to be a good nine it's, seconds. We will be right back. Be very interesting, Tyler. All right. Very interesting. Welcome back into an exciting final nine seconds, I hope, right, Zach? Yeah, I mean... Nine seconds is plenty of time to get a shot up for the Grenadiers. I mean, I, I can't even name all the things I've done in nine seconds. It's more time than you think. I, I agree with that statement. If you can manage your time, you can really stretch that nine seconds out. But a good timeout call from Coach Ferris there will get the Grenadiers a side out. Nine seconds to go. We'll see what kind of shot they get here. And Sweeney looks like she got fouled. They get it to Miller. Miller's wide open for three. Good! Lee Miller for three. 5.4 seconds to go. Miller hits a huge three. She's just been a tick off tonight. She was not there. And that's a foul. 2.8 seconds to go. What a great foul by Ledgerwood. Sends Simmons to the line. With 2.8 seconds to go, they can all they can do. They can't, they can't take the lead. They can, they can get within one. Lee Miller, what a three. She finished. She's going to have 13 on the night. No bigger shot than that. What a three from Miller. Uh, I mean, the touch has just been off all night, but I mean. Not when we needed her. That, that could be the dagger. That could be the dagger. What a good foul. And the Grenadiers have got to watch it here. They could miss on purpose on that second shot to get the ball back after they make the first. They could shoot to get try to get the tip. Reed is in. Warren, it's going to have to box her out. Girton also in for, for the Simmons. Grenadier fans saying we need a good block out. First shot from Gray. Good. She will probably have to try and miss the second one here. 
They're gonna have to they're gonna have to get get a rebound here. This is gonna be interesting. For a second shot. Oh, and she makes it. She makes it. They will foul Miller. They will foul Miller. No time went off the clock. No time went off the clock. They will now say 2.4 seconds to go off the clock. Johnson back in for Simmons College. Miller goes to the line. She can't push the lead back to three. And I mean, maybe the craziest nine seconds we've seen all year. Oh yeah, that was a that was crazy. Miller's first shot coming right at you right here. She hit the big three-pointer to give the Grenadiers that lead they needed. First one's good. She's going to find a way to get to 15, and no matter what, she's probably going to get her average. <coughs> I mean, she's really turned what looked to be an all right performance into one of the biggest ones for the night for the Grenadiers. Miller, second shot is good. Miller's second shot is good. They've got to get a three for Simmons College. The four has the ball. She's going to have to throw it up. She throws it up. No good. Grenadiers win. Great game for IUS. They win 89-86. Grenadiers finish with Carly Sweeney with 19, Lee Miller with 15, Grace Stapleton with 16, Lindsey Wernett with 16 for Simmons College. Jayla Johnson had 10, Gray had 22, C had 8, Sanders had 9, Reed had 10. It was a great game. I mean, it came right yeah. down into the wire yeah. there. I mean, Grenadiers got down early, really played really good basketball in the second half. Take take the win, and, and just as I just as I predicted, correct score and all. Yeah, you did. You predict you predicted you predicted the exact correct score, just like I figured you would. I mean, you're a smart guy, and man, that was a great game for IUS. Really, we'll was. take the win, and Grenadiers will move to five and ten. Now on the season, Simmons College falls to 6 and 11. <laughs>